Show it time! Hey guys, my name is DJ Shelly. I'm the owner of Sounds by Shelly Disc Jockey Services. Or division of Michelle Lee Entertainment and today I'm here to talk to you about setting up a, a gobo projector and a gobo light. So what does gobo mean? It means goes on before optics or goes between optics. Basically it is a light that goes or a disc that goes in before a light and projects a nice design or logo onto a floor or ceiling uh, or wall of a venue. I want to let you know I'm sharing with you my first experience setting up this type of equipment because I want to let you know exactly what you're in for. These um, gobos are not easy. I reached out to a few of my DJ friends before I even got involved in this and said, hey, you know, do you think it's something I could do? A few DJs said, oh, it's no big deal. You can set it up. You know, they're easy. A few DJs said to me, oh, I'm not sure, Shelly, if that's something you want to get into. So I'm here to share with you firsthand my experience to let you know these things are not easy. They are a big pain. Um, I think now that I've set it up for the first time and um, I did it successfully, I will start to add this as a new service. But um, if you are doing it for the first time, or if a client has asked you to do it and you've never done it before, I just want to share with you the different types of equipment that you'll need um, to rent or buy, and then how to set up a basic set of equipment for a, a, go a gobo so that you know exactly what you're getting into. So what are the pieces of equipment that you'll need in order to set up a gobo? The first thing that you'll need is the Gobo disc. So you can order these online, or um, if you go to a rental company, I personally went to Zio Brothers in Huntington Valley in Pennsylvania, um, but you know you can get these online or from a rental place. What you want to know about all of the, this type of equipment, it's very dangerous. So you want to be extremely careful. Now there's different sizes to your Gobo disc. And it's very important to know what size gobo disc you have in order to make sure that you rent the correct gobo projector. Now, what may happen, which happened to me, they actually, even though it was the right size, they still had to cut the gobo disc. So as you'll notice, you want to be extremely careful. Look how jagged that edge is. You, you can cut it with a pair of scissors. So what I would recommend, the tools you'll need, scissors, pliers, and something sharp. I just grabbed a knife. The reason that you may need something sharp is because you'll see with this gobo, as I was trying to put it in and out of the projector, some of the pieces started getting bent. So I just used this little knife here to kind of bend the piece back. But just be very careful. So next, you'll have the gobo holder. So you'll basically slide the gobo in the gobo holder like this. And they're a little tricky. And again, just be very careful because the edges are very, very sharp. Rental place, Zio Brothers, was nice enough to mark off for me where to insert the gobo. So this is where the goes on before optics comes in. You want to insert the gobo in front of the lighting source so the light will come out and then project the logo or letters onto the floor or ceiling. So as you can see, this is a very big, clunky piece of equipment. It's not easy to carry around. So before you actually even start to set up the projector, what you'll also need to know is that your client most likely is going to want the gobo light or the logo or lettering to shine on the floor or the wall of the venue, which means that the projector has to be up in the air. So you'll need a stand. So you'll want to, to rent not only the projector and the gobo, you'll also want the pieces to the stand. Now the biggest thing to know about setting these up, it's going to require two people. I tried doing it by myself, which is why I'm doing the video today and not last night at the venue. 
because you'll need two people to set this up. So what you'll need, I have two poles that I think um, we're up to about 10 foot together. I can't show you in this room because of the ceiling, but I have two poles and a coupler. Now the coupler is going to allow you to couple the poles together so that you can put one on top of the other. You'll also need the base. This is the tricky part. The base is extremely heavy. This base is about 50 pounds. Ugh. So you'll see, this is not something that one person is going to carry around. You'll also need a dolly. So now make pretend this stand is in the air because that is the only time that you're going to be able to put the projector up. You're not going to want to screw the projector on and then try and put the pole on the stand. So you'll have the stand already set up and you'll have to use like Jackie and I last night had to stand on two chairs. She was holding the projector up while I was screwing on the clamp. So you'll see there's a clamp here. This is why you need a set of pliers. The clamp is not that big. It's kind of scary actually. So what you'll want to do is make sure it's extremely tight because in the situation I was in last night, this was behind us on top of our heads. So you'll want to screw that clamp on as tight as you can and just be careful because while one person's holding it and you're screwing it on, they're right behind you. So you'll want to make sure you're being very careful and you're not going to hurt them or hit them with the pliers, which is what we almost did last night. <laughs> Okay, so it's clamped on, very tight. Now you're ready to mess with the projector and get the projector um, in the right position so that the go-go is going to shine on the floor. So you'll want to put your holder and the go-go disc into the insert. You'll also notice on the side, there's these little arms. You want to pull the arms all the way out and this will help you to adjust how the gobo is going to look. So depending on what the lettering or the logo is, these will allow you to adjust what parts of the gobo are going, you're going to see. So you can put them in or have them all the way out. And these arms are located all around the outside of the projector. Lastly, you'll want to focus. This is another nice thing that Zio Brothers did for me. They labeled the focus. So you want to loosen this knob And you'll see here, these things are just really not easy to use. So you want to loosen the focus knob. And this will allow you to move your lens up and down and focus the gobo onto the dance floor. show you what this looked like last night and how we how it was set up behind us but I'm just showing this to you here today so you can get a close-up of how to move this in and out move the lens in and out to focus and then once you get to the focus point you want to just screw that knob back in all right so now you're all set and you want to turn it on lastly a very important point these get extremely hot. So you do not want to actually turn it on and start messing with the focus and the arms until you're ready to, um, to uh, adjust the gobo light because it gets very hot. So you're not going to have a lot of time to mess with the focus and the arms. Also, before you break the gobo projector down, turn it off and let it cool down. I think it took us almost 20 minutes last night before we could actually even touch it because it was so hot. All right, so that's DJ Shelley's first experience setting up a gobo. I think now that I, I've done it once and we did it successfully, I will start to add this as part of our services, but I just wanted to share with you what is involved in setting up a gobo in case you're wondering so that you know exactly what you're in for. 
This is DJ Shelly with Sounds by Shelly and Michelle Entertainment. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that um, you learned something about go-go's. Thank you.